Hello everyone. I hope that you are doing well. This is me, Sayyid Shuryatullah. Welcome to Achievers Academy. Today, we will be learning about the chapter 6 of our Economic Survey 2022. Okay guys. So, this particular uh, video is very easy to understand and uh, many of the facts are there here. Important for all the upcoming group 4 and group 2 examination. So, make sure that you are not uh, leaving any point which is given by me in the slides. So, make sure that you are properly by harding it and going to the examination. Okay. Let us go ahead. In 2021, what happened? Because 2022 survey we are learning means data will be of 2021 to 2022, right? The total GVA gross value added from the industrial sector, okay, including mining and quarrying. Because you know that mining and quarrying as such more manual work is involved. It is studied under what agriculture sector but the value is studied under industry sector as a occupation it is placed under agriculture sector but as a what calculation of value it is under the industrial sector okay so including the industrial you know that industrial sector are manufacturing is one manufacturing is one industrial sector along with that we are also having construction and the third one we are having electricity gas and water supply these are the three important sub sectors of industrial sector okay and mining and querying value also we will count here the value of all of these and the value of this one will give you the total gross value added of industrial sector which is stood at 2,12,069 crores and this is 20.4 percent of telangana state gross value added in the total gsva of telangana the industrial sector GVS, GSVA is around 2.20.4 percentage. Okay. And uh, the growth of the industrial GSVA is also near about 20.23. So, very easy. This is 20.4, 20.23. Uh, industrial sector GVA contribution in the state GVA is 20.4. Growth rate in the industrial sector of GVA of industrial sector is 20.23. Very easy to understand. With regard to the employment, According to the periodic labor, uh, labor force survey, 18.23%, 18.23% of all working adults means anyone who is in the age group of 15 to 59 year, it is called as our labor force. Labor force is anyone who is in the age group of 15 to 59 years. So out of this complete number of individuals in this age group, 18.23% are engaged in what? Industry means rest of them are dependent on agriculture and also on service sector. If we see within the industrial sector, which sector is having the largest workforce? Construction is employing the largest workforce followed by what? Manufacturing. Telangana was declared as third most attractive destination to invest Okay, with regard to manufacturing. So that's why Telangana is ranked third. Okay, in ease of doing business by the World Bank in 2019 to 2020. If you see the subsector contribution, as I have told you, manufacturing within the industrial sector, manufacturing is the occupying the lion's share. 56.9% of industrial GBA is coming from manufacturing followed by construction and by mining. And the last one is what? Electricity. So electricity is the least contributor in industrial sector. Okay, and the highest contributor of GS, GVA in the industrial sector is manufacturing. So, I have also given them here in the chronological order. Please don't forget the chronology. They may ask you in the examination that are in the following subsector in the chronological order of their contribution. Like that, they may ask you the question. So, you please read the complete chronology. Growth rate. When you see the growth rate over the last year, okay. Descending order from 2014 to 2021, from all these years, 14, 15, 16. So, how much growth rate happened? Electricity and other utilities ranked number one with regard to growth rate from 2014. From, from 2014 to till now, the highest growth rate is seen in what? Electricity and other utilities. That's why it is ranked one. Then the second is manufacturing, 12.01% compounded means. 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. See, as we are discussing all these years, in all these years, electricity growth very high. That's why rank number one, followed by manufacturing, mining and querying and construction. 
then as you all know about very well with regard to tsi pass you would have studied in the uh, your static uh, whatever the uh, classes are there so i'll just uh, give you the whatever is important in the whatever is there in the social economic outlook that only i'm giving you the number of approvals 3185 from the last year from 2020 to 2021 2021 to 2022 in this year the number of approvals in the ts i pass is around 3185 okay if you see from the total year since the ts i pass launched from that year to 2021 means the last year a total number of 18761 proposals were approved it means a high amount of okay projects has been uh, what uh, successful under the TSI pass approved and they are going to get investment how much 2,26,000 crore rupees of investment we are going to get in Telangana and nearly 16 lakh people will get employment it's a very wonderful initiative in the time of unemployment lot of unemployment in our country so government of Telangana is doing its best and trying to increase our job creation type of industries if you see in TSI pass the maximum approvals are made under micro okay you might be aware of this fact that msme classification is there 2005 act is also there so in the static classes you might have learned about the msme classification there was old classification at present we are having new classification old classification has separate okay uh, levels of investment for a micro this much investment for a medium this much investment for um, small this much investment so in old classification manufacturing and service sector has got different uh, investment uh, classes are there on the basis of that uh, the companies were called as msme micro small and medium whereas in the new classification both manufacturing and service sector is given what same criteria micro what uh, the criteria small criteria medium criteria this criteria is same for what both uh, manufacturing and service sector so i have given you a little bit of thing what is the micro small and medium industries are nothing but on the basis of how many crores you are investing okay upper limit is there up to, up to 25 lakh if your company is uh, uh, if your project or you, you started a company by investing up to 25 lakhs then it is called as what micro like that it is there if you are going more than that up to 10 crores like that or up to 100 crores 200 crores large industries so and so forth so msme's classification is basically based on what investment scale investment scale so most of the approval in the tsi pass is from the micro okay investment and uh, employment when we compare to the amount highest uh, investments and uh, the more amount of investment and the more amount of employment is generated in what mega industry mega industry means any industry which is having 200 crore rupees of investment is called as what mega industry so approvals maximum in micro investment and employment highest empl investment is coming and highest employment is, is being generated in what mega so you can see here with regard to approval Mitchell Malkajgiri has got highest number of approvals okay then Hyderabad and Narayan Pet has got bottom most and in approvals food processing industries have got what highest approvals in which industry maximum approvals were given food processing industry with regard to investment the highest investment in TSI pass Sangaradi has got and the least investment mulugu has got this is a second this is a second so remember this point i have given you the first two okay one two one two okay this is the top means this is the first highest investment sangharati followed by rangareti least investment mulugu followed by adilabad and highest investment has come okay with regard to investment uh, highest investment has come in what pharma pharma remember this point with regard to employment TSI pass generated more employment in Varangal and least employment is being generated in what Mulugu. Very commonly you can understand that when the investment itself is less in Mulugu, employment itself will be less. Okay, fine. And the employment, highest employment is generated in Pharma. So I have given you properly that with regard to approval, which districts is getting more approved, more approval, which districts is getting less approval, and also the industry which is getting what more approval. So, proper whatever is there in the socio economic outlook, I have given you. Between 2016 and 2021, three years data is considered. Remember one point in our socio economic outlook, last three years average is only considered because according to RBI, if you are, we don't need to look five, five years, 10 years. If the 
three year data or an average is sufficient to know the strength of any sector like that RBI told. That's why three year data only we are taking in the socio-economic outlook of 2022. So between this 2016 to 2020, the IT sector remained the dominant, pro, uh, dominant sector with regard to employment. And IT sector contributed around 50% of all new employment generated through TSI pass. TSI pass is generating what? More and more employment. T Pride. T Pride is a program you know that to encourage entrepreneurship among the marginalized group like SCST community, women, and specially disabled person. This was a new category. Please make sure that you don't forget in the options. Okay. And T Pride is not only for SCST, but it is also for women and specially able person. Don't forget this four important classes of. Uh, uh, in uh, groups of individuals which are given assistance of entrepreneurship under T Pride. T idea, you know that very well, Telangana State Industrial Development Entrepreneurship Advancement, it is for basically for OC people. Okay, OC, general category people are supported under TSI pass. That sub program is called as T idea. This is specially, T Pride is specially for these people. For other caste, other caste or general category, they are assisted by T idea. So I have given you the full form of T idea and T pride. T pride and T idea I have given you. Please go through this. Then again very important to develop the infrastructure. Means government of Telangana will identify. Let us suppose this is the Gachiboli. A Gachiboli is an area in, in Hyderabad state near the outskirts of the Hyderabad state. We are having an area. If government says that in Gachiboli this area should be declared as what? Cess zone. Special economic zone like that. So here water. Here roads, all these have to be buildings have to be constructed or not, yes. To make sure that whatever the government proposed projects are there, okay, and the infrastructure is built on the proposed, uh, proposed projects or not, a separate entity has been established, that is Telangana State Industrial Infrastructure Corporation. So remember this point, this particular company will provide infrastructure for the development of what industries not for agriculture purpose they don't make sprinkler drip irrigation all that they will not do they will provide infrastructure only for what industrial sector it's a nodal agency for developing industrial parks so any area designated as industrial park means it's just a barren land okay in this barren land the ts2c ts2c we call it as very popularly called as ts they will do what infrastructure development there okay 1.5 lakh acres has been given to this ts2c and government asked them to develop it so many uh, between 2014 to 2021 the corporation has identified around 19,961 acres of land and uh, uh, to construct uh, to develop infrastructure on that particular land they definitely require workers so by constructing that infra uh, infrastructure they are they were able to provide 1.9 lakh jobs and around 31,000 has been 31,000 crore has been invested. This land will be used. This land, whatever the lands identified by TS2C, okay, they will only identify the land to be developed as industrial park. Okay, so there are some important areas are there. TS2, uh, TS2C will help to develop industrial park at Zahirabad, Kakatiya Mega Textile Park, Electronic Manufacturing Cluster, Fiberglass Composite Cluster. Sultanpur Medical Devices Park, Apparel, Vivir Parking, Sitsila, Industrial Park, Chandan Valley, and Dudumul Kapoor. Dandumul Kapoor, sorry. Okay, so this TS2C is going to develop all these areas. Then MSME, according to Invest India portal maintained by Government of India, MSME account for 99, 95, so 95% of all industrial units in our country and employ over 100 million means 10 crore people across the country okay second only to agriculture sector agriculture is the largest employer of in our country agriculture was once upon a time was followed by textile now textile has been replaced by what msme the second largest employer in our country is now msme okay remember this point over 10 crore people are engaged in msme according to the invest india portal as per TSI pass, nearly 16,000 MSME units have started their operations from 2015 to 2022. And they have this number of 16,000 MSME units newly has come in our state from 2014 to 2021 in these all these years. And they generated employment of 2.44 lakh. 
Hyderabad accounting for highest number of MSMEs. Mulugu accounting for least share of MSV. Means in number, Hyderabad is having more micro, small and medium. In number, comparing all of that MSME, Mulugu is having less. Now, if any government assisted company, government is like, I want to start a company, but what happened? I, I started a uh, company of like, uh, you can say that camera making or you can say that um, stethoscope making or BB checking machine. I started a company, but that company is not working properly uh, because uh, sales are not happening because of some reason competition is very high. So, I am not able to actually make a mark in the market with my product. So, I am, my profits are declining and I am on a verge of what losses and closing up my company. In this case, I can go to what Telangana Industrial Health Clinic. Okay, this is a new organization, okay, established by the government of Telangana. If any company, if any factory or industry is having a problem, okay, and it is not able to cope up with the uh, what uh, profits and not able to generate profits and it is going towards losses, this TS2C will go Okay, board of members will be there here. They will go and they will study that particular industry whether it will work or not. If this board will find that yes, that industry has a potential to work, they will use some. Okay, you can say that understand medicine. You can say that's why it is called as Telangana Industrial Health Clinic. It's a non-banking finance company. It's a NBFC. It's not a bank. Set up by the government of Telangana in 2017. Very very important uh, year. T uh, T I H C L. Established in the year 2017, direct question will come. For the revival and rehabilitation of sick MSME. If my MSME is not performing, it means my MSME bimar ho gai. Bimar means joram in the remark. Right. So, usko revive karna hai and also rehabilitate. Rehabilitate means getting into operation. Provide ex post facto diagnostics to non willful defaulters. I don't want to default on my loan. I am a very regular payer of loan and EMIs like that. But still, I am not able to do that because there are no profits are happening. I am not getting the money. That's why I am not able to pay to the bank. So, in this case, I can go to this IHCL and get some benefit out of it. Basically, it is a exposed diagnostic. Means once my company is getting into derailing and getting into losses, no, then only they will come into picture and help me. That's why post. Post ke baad means pura kharaab honne ke baad ni chedi poyna tarvata vastar ke maata post maatam laga. Extending financial support double is taru to pay off critical amount. Okay, critical amount means what is the major important liabilities MM mm untai that will be generally given by them. Okay, and they will make sure that NPS, uh, uh, they will, uh, the company should not create any NPS. Provide special assistance to female led firms and businesses in Telangana. That is also one of the women empowerment measure. TS Global Link, a very, very important. Lot of people does not know about it. So, in group one, it was already asked. Okay, fine. A digital marketing platform that helps MSME contact global buyers and sellers. Just like Amazon, Fifth Cart, the TS Global Linker is the same way. Okay, online uh, uh, e-commerce website this is. And if I am a MSME, I can put my product there. Okay, the platform is having what to launch SMEs of Digital India. I mean, small and micro enterprise, medium enterprise, Digital India program. As a part of this, Kirana Linker is also there. Online grocery platform was also launched for the grocery stores during the COVID-19. Okay, COVID-19, lot of ration shops, people are not going, uh, not going to the ration shops and they are not able to buy. That's why government created an Amazon-like platform called as Kirana Linker. I can, uh, this A, a ration shop owner can register here. B, Roshan shop owner can register here. We are all sitting here and happily we will uh, check out that uh, which uh, Kirana shop owner is giving. Uh, we will place the order and they will give to us. Women Entrepreneurs Hub, V Hub. V Hub is a state-led incubator. Means everywhere across the state it will be implemented. It is started in the year 2017 to help women entrepreneurship in Telanga. It provides incubation facilities. If a woman want to establish a factory, it will V Hub is a is a very big uh, complex complex. Mana Hyderabad lo sapna lo complex. Oka mall laga onta thendi. Basically, inka chala chinnaga layman language lo cheppa lande. This T Hub is nothing but V Hub is nothing but oka mall laga onta thi. Anni shops rate la onta hi. Alanti spaces meko women entrepreneurs ki istara ki mat. Okay. It plays a specially important role in promoting entrepreneurship skill in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities and running programs that increases the interest of young women in pursuing science, technology, engineering, mathematics, education. One district, one product is mentioned in our 
Telangana State Economic Outlook. One district, one product is a joint initiative of state and central government to identify district specific products that can be marketed overseas and to help the district produce and market those products. Nothing but Okoka district low majorly in a, a product chala manchika chesaru, chala manjika scope under the product key designate chesaru one district or one product. And government will try to do what uh, selling overseas by taki. Amadani. The scheme was launched in the year 2021 and uh, as subsumed the previous scheme of the government called as District as Export Hub. Now it became this one. Okay, one district, one uh, product means in the same district and rural area. That's why rural entrepreneurship will be promoted, produce international competitive products, help the MSMEs in addressing bottlenecks in the production and export. Okay, district nunchi city city wala ki city industries ki edena district nunchi kawal ante wala uh, villa ki pro, uh, provide chesaru so edena bottlenecks unte edena challenges unte adi kuda uh, undo vani mata. Increase employment and investment in manufacturing sector in the state. One district one product means uh, the the district people will start investment in manufacturing and look into a platform on the kabati. People will start the same similar product manufacturing start cheshi. Okay, they want to export. Handlooms and textile and handicrafts at Telangana. Netanaku Chayuta Thrift Fund Scheme. It was this scheme was launched in the year 2017. Okay, the weavers will contribute in this 8% of their wage into the savings account and the state supplement 16% to each weavers account. So 100 rupees low, Nenu 8 rupees Walu Kache Saru, 8 rupees plus government Dinki double is 16. Okay. So this will be uh, every viewers, you know, 100 rupees is 1000, 2000 on Okay, this will go into this fund. If fund nunchi malli handloom viewers ki wala ke problem ante wala ki support ches sare ni maata. Ante oka fund laga ke chesi andar ki support ches saro. And uh, whatever they will give loans and wala lo loans repay ches se, wala ke double ek avastha ya ni maata. So contribution, mana contribution, viewer contribution, government contribution plus dhan me da interest kora generate aitha di manchi ka aitha di ni maata. And it ki. Okay. Now Telangana, right, then Chetana Mitra input subsidy linked wage compensation scheme to increase the wages accruing to the viewers without hurting the profit margin in the competitive market, the government introduced input subsidy scheme and the uh, viewers, okay, Walu, uh, they used yarn, they use coloring material, chemicals used as Sarkada. Then we will be able to get the subsidy government is 40% subsidy is given. The scheme won the nationally renowned Scotch Award at 73rd Scotch Summit in 2021. Telangana State Hamloom Weaver Cooperative could have won the 2017 low e-cooperative opportunity to represent the interest and market the products created by the weavers of Telangana. Mana Ashok Lagan low the Hamloom Weavers exhibition Ipur could have announced today is like December 21, 2022 on the today. Today is December 21, 2022 already exhibition Hamloom Weaver exhibition is going on. Nothing but government um, is a Taking the products and the Akada exhibition creates Jeshi, government Manalaga handloom to hand to Jeshna Idana, clothing unte, then a dice unte, Manamakada exhibition lo pet coachu, people will come and buy. Textiles in 2017, government of uh, government of Telangana established Kakatiya Mega Textile Park in Varangal. High cotton growing uh, district in the state is Varangal only, and this particular textile park is 2,000 acres. The park has an investment of around 11,586 crore. Investment has already made by government and private player. Handicrafts, Manam choose Kunte, Adilabad district is known for Nirmal furniture. Okay, and Nirmal, this Nirmal furniture has also received geographical indication right in 2009. Adilabad Ushegon village is also known for Dokra metal crafts. Okay, uh, this Dokra metal artifacts uh, they used to make the uh, Arctic crafts with the help of a uh, craft making uh, method called as lost wax method, which is not lost to wax. And a wax method is a method actually to make the metal artifacts. Kani the lost in the Pantanamante Ipuledu. Pemberthi village in Janka district produces Pemberthi metal craft. The craft Men decorate individual items like perfume bottles and vases ki walu paina manchiga bumal gisarani mata. Hyderabad is home to artists that make uh, the cherial paintings that uh, depict narratives and stories across long scrolls. So, uh, handicrafts are like chala manchi manchi handicrafts on Naimana Degara, very world famous, India famous. 
okay to develop the handicraft telangana state handicraft development corporation has been um, was established and the prime responsibility of this particular corporation is to provide welfare support to the artisans who are dependent on that crafts so uh, edana craft meeda golconda trademark unte suppose idi flower vase undi dan meeda golconda trademark inda untadi trademark unte adi manchi dani mata okay and uh, this golconda uh, this telangana state handicraft development corporation also uh, owns 10 emporia in india two of which are located outside india and uh, telangana emporia is nothing but uh, uh, very unique uh, arts untai kada unique vases okay very beautiful decorative sophisticated okay alanti uh, handi handmade things untai kada oka showroom lo pedtaru meeru velli konochu chaala costly ga untai 30000 40000 like that so alanti the places ki emporium antaru pelli cheskodaniki when we go to the pelli uh, shopping no uh, marriage shopping you will come uh, emporium ani untadi nothing but very costly items very specifically for purpose okay then pharma industry okay already we have seen a lot of things with regard to your initiatives now we will go with pharma industry pharma industry lo manam em chestunnam the country in our country 30 percent of total pharma products are exported from what of uh, exported from telangana okay largest a commodity exported from our telangana 30 percent of total mercantilized export ante telangana nunchi okay mercantilized lo mercantilized means those products which we can see that can be a okay this one that can be a sofa machine that can be a brush that can be a perfume whatever it is or a anything like that you can understand that a pen na sare edaina sare mana telangana nunchi okay mercantilized means anything that is visible to us anything that we can see okay our items low what how much exports we are doing 30 percent of those exports we are doing from only from pharmaceutical 70 percent consist of all of these things in order to support the sector government has sanctioned hyderabad the garyoka pharma city project launchation okay well the complete i put a world largest pharmaceutical cluster repository with a potential of 64,000 crores and 4.2 lakh msc students science students could be happily employed then we'll go to food processing. You know that badam milk, NSRA, lassi, NSRA, tang, NSRA, real NSRA, all of these are what food process products. Whereas it is like um, uh, cornflakes, oats, all of these are what food processing. Food processing has been recognized as one of the 14 thrust uh, sectors under the industrial policy framework of 2014. Telangana processes nearly about 25% of output from agriculture. Agriculture nunchi vachina production low 25% is going in what we are processing into food process industry low and process and we are consuming uh, and uh, food processing industry add 12.5% in value to the marketed agriculture products okay so whatever the agriculture products are there to it it values it add what 12.5 100 rupees to an agriculture product manam amute are food processing food uh, process in other that will be 112.5 and it adds every agriculture product if it goes into uh, food processing industry every agriculture product if it goes into food processing industry will generally uh, add a value of up to 12.5 percent are they thousand unte you can say uh 1120 rupees 50 pies the state has four major food processing parts located in nizambad khammam jogulangba gadwal and zahirabad districts Okay, pharmaceutical could I put in the food processing is also done, handicrafts is also done, textiles is also done. Okay, and MSME could industrial sector low. We have covered a lot of things. Mining low choose kundam. The government has leased around 88,000, okay, almost 89,000 hectares of land mining ki chishna manam. Okay, and uh, 1904 mineral industries are there. Mineral means extracting, mining means extracting, granite, avani, aluminium, avani, they are and the mine chester gada, alanti, any industries, 1904 mineral based industries are there in Talangana, equa, the highest mineral based industries are there in Jogulamba, Gadwal, Khammam, followed by many are there. In 2019 to 20, the state earned a total revenue of 3715 crore from this mineral production, mining nunchi. Vachira revenues in Tamanako. Mineral revenue collection worth 19,000 crores has been. Ante from this is the last year data. This is from 2014 to 2019. Varaku choose kunte 19,000 crore value added by mining industry. Telangana State Mineral Development Corporation. Okay, we are having a separate government department called as Telangana State Mineral Development Corporation. Chala manchika pani jesadidi. Anduke this 
um, Telangana State Mineral Development Corporation has been declared as National Exploration Agency by the Government of India. Okay. So, mining just soon up to coal, one of the Greco on the Kabati coal Gurunchi Miru Chadwali, Equa Chadwali, types of coal Shura Chadwali. You have to read all of them. Telangana has the largest deposit of coal on in the South Indian state. It has proven deposit means already existing deposits are there. Okay, properly we know about accurately 11,000 uh, million tons of coal on the Manadagra accounting for 7.04 percent of all proven deposits in the country. Okay, Manadagra coal, Unna coal in across the country it accounts for 7 percent. Manchirial, Pedapali, Badradi, Kodakaram districts have 75 percent of these reserves. Very, very important. Exam lo, this question may come. It says in this way that which one of the following districts account for 75% of coal reserves. Then what is your answer? Manjira, Pedapali and Badradi, Kotagadam. And to manage our coal production, coal distribution, coal selling, etc. So and so forth, Singarini Kororis Company was established during the Nizam period only, a state public sector under, uh, undertaking. Primary Coal Mining Corporation of Telangana, it is the second largest coal producer in India. The total coal production for the Singarini in the last year was around 42, 42.5%. Okay. And it has increased 32 million tons only in the 2020 low, 46 million tons in the 2021 low. Means you can say that 32 became what? 46 means uh, almost like uh, 32, 42, 43, 44, like 16 million tons equa adjacent. We have added 16 million sum that, that is like 42.5 percent grow in the Nimata. Okay, coal production increased to 42.4 percent. Okay, in 2020, the coal production was only 32. Point, uh, uh, 65 million tons in the next year we got 46 so the company is producing good amount of coal and with fast rate you can understand that the best power plant in the country in terms of and the the uh, singarini quarries maintain the best power plants in terms of plant load factor and also the company also received solar excellency award 2021 for its 219 megawatt solar power plant so, koncham ilu global warming, greenhouse gas, environment conservation kosam kuda chosu naru, anni coal to kakunda, solar energy kuda generate chesu narne maat. Exports choose kente, you can see that Telangana exports are around, uh, generating around 2 lakh 10,000 crores worth of goods and services we will export to international markets accounting for about 21.4% of state nominal GSDP and the e value 2 lakh 10,000 10, value in the uh, This is 221.4 percent of state GDP, GSDP in the undi. Okay, and the undi. 21.4 percent undi. This value. Mana state GDP 100 crores unde. Okay, uh, 21 and 20 crore value atla. Fine. A majority of these originated in the service sector, which made up to 69.3 percent of all export by the value. So, majority exports we are doing from service sector only. Telangana ranked second among all landlocked states on the Export Preparedness Index compiled by Niti Ayog. Very, 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 very important point. Don't forget the ranking and also the index and who has given the index. The report also suggests that Telangana has fifth best export ecosystem. Fifth best export ecosystem and Telangana government export um, kosam chala facilitation chase on the Nimata, chala promote chase on the export Telangana government policy sina sare, okay, barrier sina sare, uh, chala uh, simplified gown nai. So, our ecosystem allow on the easy export chase coach. Government the Ganunchi, equa manaku trouble lay the Nimata, equa stringent rules, regulations and levu. Share of different commodities exports uh, in 2021. Pharmaceutical under tablets, equa manam export system, tablets, sarvata, organic chemicals, nuclear, china, china machines. Electrical, machinery, salt and minerals, cotton. So you can see first top three meter goods to pet kunte chalu. Top three exports. Okay. Uh, in terms of what chronological order, in terms of what percentage. Top three, top four minute kundi, that is more than enough. Top ten content. The country which receive highest imports from Telangana is USA ki. USA ki manam chala export chestam, followed by China ki tarvata, then Russia, UAE, Bangladesh. Top five is very, very important. Please make sure that you remember it. Kani. As 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 is aspirant koncham manam equa chadwali kabati. Okay. So as a competition is very high. Make sure that you first top file miru one sentence, but also remember that you study all of them. They may ask you in the examination which one of the following states, which one of the following country Telangana exports will not go. So they may give what Turkey also if you. So any countries ki manam pumpism adi good pet kondi. 
to how many countries we do the exports remember that and first top three percentages you remember okay export law the uh, the district which does highest export coming from highest export is Manchal and Manakajgiri followed by Hyderabad, Sangareddy, Rangareddy, Medak, Fai K5, Muttam, Mirchadwali and uh, you can also see that Manchal Markajgiri Nunchi Mana uh, Hyderabad low uh, sorry in our state hundred percent exports are there. Manchal Markajgiri is doing what twenty five percent meaning nearly one fourth of the exports are coming from Mirchal and Markajgiri. Don't forget it. Telangana export commands high value and then whatever the exports we do from Telangana chala value undanta mana exports products ki 80 different countries ki manam okay uh, pump is sunna mante 80 different countries lo mana products ki demand undante you can understand that mana products ikada locally manufacture koda chala manji ko nai kabati we are getting we are getting the orders from what 80 different countries hence Telangana has the fourth highest international market penetration among all states in India and they very states low very states value whatever they are producing okay uh, they are not going to these many countries okay state nunchi any countries and means how many maximum countries you will reach okay from a state how many maximum countries you will reach that is called as global market penetration okay so telangana is going towards uh, going and exporting up to 80 countries and uh, you can understand that we are doing very very well okay then this is a very important data please uh, don't forget it medical devices park sultanpur lo pharma city is coming in hyderabad a parlor park is coming in rajana silsila in 2021 declared rag mayuri mega food park is coming in jogulamba gadwal sand mining policy of telangana came in the year 2014 so this is all about the chapter number 5 industries i hope that this is all clear to you if you are having any doubts you can just put a message to the management they will send that message to me and in my next class i will be more happy to help you out bye bye take care